Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Tyranny with me, Bring It Dawn. Uh, let's explore Halfgate. Let's see what's going on here. Honestly, I could have probably just returned to Graven Ash and reported our success. And he probably would have sent us here anyway. But while we're here, we may as well finish exploring it. Let's talk to Aleros. Or Jenny the Reaver. Well, lo and behold, look who's here. The Great Fate Binder of Tunan. Come and greet His Excellency. Do you have us bound worship like dogs at your feet? Turns her finger over a ragged blade. Or do we settle this with a bit of fun? I've only just arrived, and already you test my patience. Well, crap. They have gone and upset the mewling canker wit. No, don't hurt me, Fate Binder. I'm trembling. Can you believe this one? Strutting about like this town isn't already ours? There's only the question of what to do about you. A slice down your face, mayhaps, or a dagger betwixt your shoulders as you walk away. I'm partial to either. Let's do the conquest one. I take it you want to learn why they call me the Rivener of Stalwart. The soldier pales and grips for the hilt of her blade, but hesitates to draw it. A joke's a joke, eh? We're just having a bit of a row. No need to be no need to be so eager to die. There we go. Right? No need to get all worked up over it. After a moment of uncertainty, she breaks into a full-on retreat while shouting into the air. Quickly, misery. The fate biter is coming through. Yeah. Let that be a lesson to you. Tails between their legs. Now that is a refreshing sight. Well, the ground won't don't tremble no more. Guess I should thank you for that, Fatebinder. What can a poor trader do for you? This place sure has been wrecked. And by a Fatebinder like you, no less. No offense to you, of course. You're good justice. But I have forgive my sights on who did this. I'll give him right, give him a right piece of my mind. The city lost everything to the edict. Her homes, her people, even her name. You can't imagine what it was like to watch her quake and burn. Now that the city's death sli slide is settled, we only have to deal with the occasional rumbling, the tremors that come and go like sweeping summer storms. Most blame the disfavored. The shakers are no help at all. Let's go at course at least one that want to solve the problem. You hear the folks at Halfgate feel the disfavored are causing problems. Have you come to help then? Those meddling earth shakers are protecting Karen, but for the life of me, I couldn't tell you why. Maybe they like the trembling he causes every time he rattles and moans. But how are we to rebuild so long as the Archon lives? Halfgate's town folk sympathize with the Scarlet Chorus. Is that so? Well, we don't like them, but we don't hate them either. They've got a plan to stop the Earth's trembling. So they say. Kill Cairn, kill the Quakes. Once the land's at rest, we can rebuild and farm again. Do you have anything noteworthy in stock? Afraid not. I'm plumb out of, well, everything. A bit of gabbing's all I got to trade at the moment, if you're in the market. Well, farewell. On it. Oh, hey, uh, a lot of enemies in, in town. Uh, these dangling ropes served as a last desperate attempt to keep homes together following the collapse. The aftershocks proved to be too much for the makeshift supports. Can't do that. Well, it looks like there is going to be some uh, blood spilled in Halfgate. I will aid you. I did update a couple of Lantry spells. Uh, not all of them, just three. I think. Restoring Touch, Surge of Glory, and Spectral Blur. pit up here while I'm blocking the ramp. Alright. 
Let's go over here, Sunder this guy, and Skullcracker. And Verse can take care of this guy. Whoops. No dice. Alright, Barrack, striking iron this guy. Probably enough to kill him. Well, my main character's over here two sh shotting the other guy. Will do. <laughs> oh man, he hits so hard. I'm on it. Homely's flattened by the quick. Oh, may as well just keep fighting. Uh, let's see. This way. Alright, haste Barrack. And what else do we got? Could light him on fire. And thrust. Alright, come up here and use Unravel Mines. Like so. And I'm gonna get first back here to start tearing apart their back line. Actually, right here is really good for sweeping death. She's gonna hit. I think all of them except for this guy. Which is pretty good. All right, thrust right there. All right, knock him down and then skewer. Oh, my main character just cutting, cutting a swath through these guys. Holy crap! He hits so hard. All right. Uh, do I have anything off cooldown yet? No. I could try out my new ability. Uh, Scythe of Years. Just see what it looks like. This is the artifact ability for my axe. Well, that wasn't so bad. Circumventing a lot of the conversations Sorry. we're gonna have here by uh, killing everybody. <laughs> I saw him lays flattened by the quake and sh that shattered half gate. The majority of the structures here uh, stood no chance against the strength of the tremors. I don't need our talent buffs here. Well, there's three of them. That's eh, probably worth doing anyway. I have them. I may as well use them. You dare strike at the fate bite. me first. Well, it's your funeral. I'm not here. All right. Let's get all of our spell buffs up. Milk that experience for all that we can. I think I canceled her spell. That's fine. Uh, this should hit all of them right here. Make sure he stays prone and Fury's embrace. Count on it. 
Uh, Barret, go ahead and taunt. Oops, clicked on the wrong person. There we go. And then striking iron, I guess this guy. Will do. Alright, more dead course choirmen, I guess. Course members. It's a very shaggy looking dog. Sorry. Almost I guess looks fox like. Way that its tails sway. Alright, let's enter this home. The table is supported by a few flimsy planks of wood. It's a surprise it's still upright, given all the tremors in the area. Well, there aren't tremors anymore. We took care of that. Sorry, I can't. Sorry, I can't. Hey, is that an Earthshaker? Found some. I think that it is. We found a prisoner. Scroll sits here glowing with mystical energy. Read it. Bounding bolts. Oh, it's the first iteration of that uh that accent. What's up, Scovic? Pigbinder of Tunon. Mercy. Please mercy. Kill me. End my torment. I'm begging you. He dry wretches, quivering and covered in blood. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> I thought two was gonna go a completely different direction. You, like grab him by the collar and like shake some sense into him, but no, bash his head against the wall until he dies. If I'm gonna order your death, I need to hear what crimes you've committed to warrant it. He starts to nod, but it turns into a halted cringe. How's this for you? I killed an entire village, men, women, and children, crushed with a snap of my staff, because I had to know if I could do it. I slaughtered them in a landslide and listened to their screams. He grimaces a smile at the memory despite his pain. You have no idea how exhilarating it felt. He eyes you discerningly. Or maybe you do. Oh no, so is it, is he protected under Magician's Folly? Or is he protected, or were the people protected under Kairos' peace? I think my character would probably say he broke Kairos' peace. I'm just going to release him. I can let Graven Ash deal with him later. Uh, so release him. On your feet, soldier. I'm with the disfavored. Thank you. Thank you, Fatebinder. Are you my life? And more probably. Will do. Yeah, if he broke any rules or laws, we can let Graven Ash deal with him. That's not that's not my jurisdiction, as far as I'm concerned. Let the immediate leadership, the immediate hierarchy deal with the like cats. Uh the the people directly beneath them. Because it keeps us in good relations with Graven Ash, and I mean, I guess I, I could judge him and deliver a uh, a sentence, but <laughs> you want to take that autonomy away from uh, his direct leadership. Don't want to step on anybody's toes. I will aid you. Yeah. 
I didn't join the Iron Legion so I could be prodded by justice. legal clerks. Well, it's your funeral. In here, we'll sunder this guy and uh, Skullcracker. Have her run back here. And use Sweeping Death. Lantry, let's see. Haste Barrack. Healing Aura Barrack. And then False Pit, I guess, right here. The fuck is that? Uh, Verse, actually, I want you to focus the blood chanter here. I don't want his crowd control affecting us. <laughs> is he silenced? He is. Well, better him than uh, Lantry. Holy, oh, never mind. <laughs> I forget those guys explode sometimes. I've never actually seen the animation for the explosion, I've just seen the effects. The the damage effects. As you say the last of the Scarlet Chorus gangsters that terrorized Halfgate, the town's residents once more emerge from their homes. Fender stalls are reopened for business, children play in the rubble-filled roads, and a crowd gathers in the village square as daily life in the ruins of Azure resumes. Well, sweet. Classic example of the Overlord's devastation. Like a battering ram, the Edict cleared everything in its path, including the farmlands we need to keep the army supplied. If the Scarlet Courts lack for provisions, they should stop expanding beyond their means. Short of that, you can eat each other for all I care. I'd rather snap that lobster shell around you and skewer the fleshy bits beneath. You probably don't, because he's covered in his own, uh, excrement. <laughs> At least wash him first. Uh, hey, Grin. I don't know how you did it, but people were saying you were responsible for the quake stopping. The man bows deeply before you. Halfgate is forever in your debt. Is there something I can do for you? Uh, what do you do in Halfgate? A little bit of everything, really. I'm decently handy with tools, and the buildings here are always in need of repairs. Uh, what can you tell me about those who would defy Kairos in this realm? The beasts are the ones who oppose Kairos in these parts. We're standing on the bones of Azur, but below that are the ruins of the Beastman ancestral territory. When the realm of Azur rose in power, they enslaved the hideous creatures and consigned them to lives of hard labor. Ever since Karen fell, the Edict devastated the land, the Beastmen have started to reclaim the Stone Sea. If you find yourself in their presence, shred with caution. The Beastmen are territorial and resort to violence with little provocation. My farewell. Will do. Isadora? Karen has blessed us with his final breath, but to see the mighty master of the mountains struck down, it is somewhat overwhelming. Let's go talk to Irene, then Sarah, Charisse. Greetings, Feybinder. She takes a deep bow. You've done us all a great service by getting the Scarlet Chorus off our backs. In exchange, I've got a special price for you on all my wares. What can you tell me about the spires in the region? I imagine you have dealings with travelers from those areas. Can't say I know much about the spires themselves. They've always been there, towering, never doing much of anything aside from casting shadows. I do, however, come across some interesting items from round those part, round about those parts, time and again. Just last Judge's Day, a fellow sold me a charcoal rubbing that was taken from inside one of the spires, or so he claimed. Haven't seen him since. He said he was heading to Stone Down, 
so I can't really ask him questions about it, unfortunately. But it may be worth having a look at. Uh, let's see. Show me what you have for sale. So I think that's the one we've already found, because we've already been to uh, Stone Down Gorge. So cap of absorption, uh, plus 10 armor versus shock. This light, comfortable helm is often used by ship's mates manning the crow's nest during stormy weather. The fabric is smooth from years of exposure and constant wear. Weightless iron shackle, plus 10 control force. The shackles weigh nothing at all. Snapping them in place causes the wearer's clenched fist to feel heavier still. Uh, go ahead and buy that, I guess. Oh, well, here's a charcoal rubbing. A portion of an unknown sigil has been recorded on this scroll. The charcoal imprint is rough and incomplete, leaving the full design a mystery for now. The newly added imprint fills in the remaining gaps on the scroll, giving you a clear representation of the carved rune. Good deduction, Lantry. Uh, which one was it for? Okay, it's the one we've already figured out. So I really need the other one for this one. <laughs> Alright, Charisse. A oh, Fate Binder. I can't thank you enough for saving us from those wretched beasts. Thanks to you, I'm alive and able to reopen for business. Now, I think that calls for a stock discount, don't you? Uh, show me what you have for sale. Wild scale. See, so running a weapon crit, foe target minus one armor. Uh, this wedge shaped blade is patterned to resemble the hide of a reptile. Its design allows for slipping between metal plates and bridging the gap between armor and flesh. Scarlet Fury Scythe. Helm of the Fish. Immunity to the Silenced. This helm is decorated with the light bronze and the shimmering scales of a rare sea creature. It is set atop the brow of Respected sea captains, and they recently washed ashore. I like the color scheme of it. I like that blue. Petrified Spine Totem. All damage increased by 20% at night, only for kills in the shadow. The scrim length of bone has been strung with charms and scratched with obscure arcane symbols. Then Fire Eye Stone, plus 10 control fire. This rock glows with warmth trapped from the Edict of Fire. How it contains the heat without being consumed is a mystery. Just like you and me. Right. Warm regards, Master Fate Binder. How do you do? Haven't seen many folks the likes of you around here. Then again, most of the folks I've been bumping into lately are of the Scarlet Course. They're not the likes of anything but rotten. Anything I can do for a nice gentleman like you? Uh, what can you tell me about the Scarlet Course Course's presence here? Only that they've been mucking about, stirring up trouble for weeks. Trying to conscript a lot of us. I'm glad you rid us of them. Us gentle folk don't like their methods, Master Fate Binder. Well, that's all for the moment. Alright, doesn't look like there's a lot to do here yet. Talk to... Marissa? No mercy for murderers. Death to the beast. Put him to the rope. Hang him by his hairy throat. We'll have our justice. Now, what's happened? What's all the excitement about? A group of our boys with some help from the chorus caught the beast just outside of town. They found him like that, for all matter of blood and gore from hunting down humans. Just look at his snout, still stained with, this, with his wretched dinner. The woman shudders and touches a grubby handkerchief to her mouth. She blots at her upper lip, pale face and swearing to the Archons. I wish he choked on it. Wretched. I'm told man tastes a bit gamey, but wretched seems like needless hyperbole. <laughs> it's not that far from Elk or Loris. From what I'm told. In fact, I've read that the Kvat Kvatna tribe called human slow lures on account of its taste and ease of capture. Never thought I'd be happy to have the chorus around, but for once they did us right. Now that's left is to see the brute killed. She sniffs and gives a curt nod. Of course, with the chorus gone, now I have to do it ourselves. And you sure he's killed a human? Someone witnessed it or otherwise found proof. You soft on beastmen or something, Fatebinder? You'd rather side with them than humans. That killer has found his blood all over his face and paws, right outside the gates. Who else do you think he ate if it weren't one of us? That monster killed and ate a human. You call yourself a steward of justice. 
Well, go on then. Deliver that beast a well-deserved death. For justice to be properly served, he deserves either Fatebinder's arbitration or a fair trial. That's so, Fatebinder. Why don't you go ask some of the others around then? See how many of us are interested in your thoughts on justice. She glowers, hands bunching the fabric of her dress as she adds. You don't deserve to walk free, and you know it. But my authority is a Fatebinder of Tunan. I'll act as adjudicator in this situation. Attempt to disrupt my duty to the court, and you will suffer the consequences. The woman pales and takes an unconscious step back. What, what will you do, Fatebinder? Do you mean to find him innocent? With the lack of physical evidence, I'll hear the people's testimony and judge the beastmen in accordance with Kairos' customs. Yeah. I got it. Let's talk to Grayson first. Fatebinder, Grayson cries happily at your approach. You've returned. I've heard, ta I've heard the tales of your heroic deeds at Stone Down. Our scavenging crew is back safe and sound. Those beastmen, he says shaking his head. They're horrible monsters. He, stip he spits and grinds into the dirt with his shoe. Uh, this would be a much better place if they weren't around. You may not like it, but they're here to stay. You have to learn to live with them. Actually, you know what? Yeah, some strong feelings you have there. Grayson snorts derisively. Are they not justified? I thank you for what you've done, Fatebinder. You best leave me before I turn angry. What, because I... Okay. A Fatebinder, slayer of Quarmen, keeper of the peace. He rushes, to rushes towards you with his arms outstretched and grips you tightly around your waist before realizing his intrusion. He quickly backs away and pats away some of the dust he left behind. So many different faces come through this town, but how could I miss the one who single-handedly slayed those gangsters? Seems every other day we got new scavengers or artifact hunters, or just completely odd folks coming through these parts. Almost unsettling if you ask me. Is there anything I can do to help you? Any information you need about the area? What do you know about the spires in the Stone Sea? Deep in the heart of the Beastmen territory, there's one. Those are dangerous parts. You best be watching your back out there. He nods solemnly before continuing. The other is surrounded by those rock worshippers, where that Colossus of Stone finally collapsed. Some of the vendors here in town could tell you more. I know they've had some dealings with the scavengers from those areas. Tell me more about Halfgate. Let's see. Used to be called Plainsgate until Karen came traipsing through and Fatebinder Calio cast the Edict of Stone on him, destroying thousands of lives in the process. He purses his lips. But you can't win a war without casualties. At least, that's what we're told. No matter what happens, you have to keep a positive outlook because it could have been far worse. Things can always be worse, Fatebinder. How has Karen's passing affected the settlers of this town? Townsfolk have taken to joining the scavenging crews and heading into the Stone Sea to search for artifacts and other treasures. Problem is, the Stone Sea is full of dangers, and those scavengers put their lives in danger each time they leave this settlement. Let's talk about something else. Uh, what can you tell me about the captured beastmen? Grayson Grimace is shaking his head. Ah yes, the animal they caught outside the village. Can't wait for that unpleasantness to be dealt with. Covered in blood, lurking about, no doubt, to hunt more settlers. Mangled himself in a trap outside the gates. Don't know why the chorus brought him in. Just wipe the beasts out or drive them away. That's what I say. You didn't actually see him kill anyone. Why are you so quick to assume he's guilty? An animal does what an animal does. If there is something to kill, they will kill it. It's a simple matter of nature. I hear rumors they're judging. you're judging the matter. If you have a mind to set the beast free, best do it far from here. If we see him outside the town, we won't hesitate to kill him. That's all I need for now. Alright, well, let's get back down here. We'll ask this guy about the Beastman. Or not. He has nothing to say on the matter. Sorry, I can't. So we're down here to talk to... Alright, we'll return to the other named NPCs, see if they have anything to say about the Beastman. And then we'll deal with him. It'll be easier making our way through the Stone Sea, now that the Quakes have settled down. I haven't heard that the Beastmen haven't been as active lately. 
Uh, what are your thoughts on the captured beastman? Would you find him guilty? You bet your britches I would. That beast is guilty as they come. Look it. His first stone matted in the blood of his victims. The settlers is what went missing two weeks ago, no doubt. He reeks of it. The lives he stole. Some folks believe we ought to consider his side, but there ain't no point to it, mister. And if he ain't the one that did it, uh, those beasts are a threat to our survival. I'm not the noose myself for the time come. But didn't those settlers disappear while scavenging the plains? Any number of things could have happened to them in such a dangerous landscape. You think they fell or starved? No, the proof don't lie. They are ripped apart by a beastman. Didn't they? I mean, that is, you don't really think he's innocent. Do you, good mister? I don't like the thought of letting him go. I certainly won't be the one to oppose your authority on the situation, Master Fatebinder. You'll see that justice is served. I'm sure of it. Yes, I will. I'll try to, anyway. Sorry, I can't. Right, let's go to this side and ask these two about it. So I'm assuming Isadora is going to say that he's innocent. We couldn't interact with her before we got that quest. I'm assuming that we can now. The Zangler Rope served as a last desperate attempt to keep homes together. Oh, we've already read that. Never mind. Uh, why is there a beastman being held here in Halfgate? Back when the town was primarily a market for farmers, so stalkers worked as beasts of burden. They did the hauling and the plowing mostly. And they learned not to complain. But then Karen incited them with the full idea to take back the lands of their ancestors. They've been nothing but raving and violent ever since. Not long ago, the one up there was dragged into town by a group of settlers in chorus. He was covered in blood, a wild thing. We've done our best to look the other way, but it seems they won't be satisfied to leave us be. Now they're out hunting just us Sorry, now they're out hunting us just beyond our own city gates. You assume the beastman's guilt. How do you know he was hunting a human? He's a beastman. It's what they do. I do prefer to keep my nose out of these things. If you feel certain enough about the beastman's innocence, you might consider doing something about it. And then I still can't talk to her. Okay. Well, let's deal with this then. The beastman is shackled and cannot move. I examine. The beastman lies bound and unable to move. I right, speak with the beastman. As you approach, you take a good look in, at the area where the townspeople have chained a beastman, brutally and on display like some kind of public attraction. He watches his tormentors, visibly exhausted and weary, battered and bloodied, and sinking of urine and old meat. This is how I would see the miserable creatures, humbled and instructed in their place. To offer them anything more invites anarchy. The beastman snarls and snaps at you, strolling tiredly as he strains against his bonds. His eyes are wide with fear, but his limbs droop tiredly and his whole body trembles. Back away or lose both life and limb. Left claw still has killing teeth, can still maim human. I calm down and tell me what's happened. Help left claw. He whines, all the bravado draining from him. Why have humans hunted beastmen? Beastmen has never bothered humans, knows to leave alone. Humans claim beastmen killed settlers, but beastmen has only hunted a uh, brown boar. Stone stalkers don't eat meat from humans. Tell settlers. He growls, angry and afraid. Left Claw's good hunter, tracked boar for tribe, but got hit by Iron Maw near got bit by Iron Maw near Ridge to Human Den. Blood and bled. Thought would have thought would have to rip through leg. Then sun woke and humans came, howling threats. Well you should have hunted so close to town. I don't believe you killed the missing settlers. The beastman nods and licks at a dark patch of dried blood on his upper lip. Then human will free beastman. What fate has human decided? Yeah, before I make my decision, I'd like to hear more evidence on the matter. Proof. Proof of beastman's mistake. Of beastman's shame. Of being caught like prey. Left claw cannot show boar's carcass to human. Rot smelling chorus pack burned carcass to earth, blood, and ash. But human can see where a trap gnawed into left at Claw's ankle. Yes, can see how Beastman was tricked. He's a beast, and he was caught coated in blood. But more evidence of guilt could you need? And besides, it was the chorus that dragged him in. 
they saw his guilt firsthand. The chorus? You mean the ones you watched me kill while you cowered from the shadows? No. I don't think they'll be offering testimony on the matter. She pales and stumbles a step backwards, but a body in the raucous crowd behind her jostles her forward. What do you mean to say, Fatebinder? Of course, you're the authority on the matter. With Lord Tunan's power, you can see to the truth of things, even hidden ones. I know. I've heard the northern stories. How many villagers have disappeared within the last span? Were any bones found from their bodies? Who doesn't disappear these days? We've lost so many I can scarcely keep count. Scavengers set for the valley but never return. Even the skilled ones like Drakad have surely been eaten. All any of you have is hearsay, on either side. You saying our word's not good enough, Fatebinder? You'd rather take the word of a mongrel. Fueled by her indignation, she tries to step forward through the raucous crowd, but trips and falls, knocked aside by a shouting red-faced man. You trying to get us killed? Uh, you want to get a new edict cast upon us? Or worse? The beastman's broad chest heaves as his fear ratchets up, and he pants rapidly, struggling to breathe. What will humans do with Left Claw? Either free beastmen or end beastmen suffering. So there's two ways I can handle this. I could just kill the beastmen to appease the settlers, uh, try and, you know, solidify their place under Kairos. Or, to prove Kairos' authority, I can free the Beastmen and let them know that there's nothing they can do about it. Like, I can either go like the authoritative route or the placating route. And I'm going to go the authoritative route because I don't like them. I have no sympathy for bigots. You're free to go. If the crowd bothers you, they can deal with me. Gain Wrath the Tuna on, though. It's interesting. Really, it's true. He whimpers and quivers with gratitude, eyes darting in search of the easiest escape route. Left Claw won't forget help from human. Well, one person saw some sense. It's a shame he doesn't have a tribe to return to because I killed everybody. <laughs> but, uh... Well, small amends, I guess. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is off camera, I'm going to go back to the Dawning Spire and try and solve that. Of course. Puzzle. So I think I was close last time. But I don't know for sure. Right. In fact, let's make a symmetrical world fast. I think I can do this. Hold on. If this doesn't work, then I'll fiddle with it off camera, but I think maybe. Haha! <laughs> My instincts were right. So I almost had it. I said the. Copy the other side. I don't see how that matches this, though. Whoops, wrong one. I guess it... Okay, I see it. I see it. But this curve here just looks so out of place. This is what was throwing me off. Because I had this part and this curve here, or at least this curve. I don't know what this curve is. Because it's not the other side of this circle. Unless it's this here. Then we didn't have this part of the rubbing yet. So yeah, I think that's what it is. I think it was this top left corner. This inner curve. We're missing this outer curve here. Then missing this inner curve. We had this outer curve. Okay. And then it's the same thing on the bottom. Well, awesome. Okay. Well, I'm going to call it here. Next episode, we'll claim this spire, deal with that. We'll hire everybody for the spires and then speak to all of our 
uh, recruits around the spire. Um, I think this is the last one as well, right? According to the list, yeah. So neat. Alright, either way, calling it here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.